so now we have understood about the basic ways how we can traverse these all the elements we have seen it so that is nothing but first child and we have used this children of zero and uh, what i have seen so children of zero children of one like this how to traverse the basic primitive way we have seen it and also some of the handy properties which we are available in the document that is nothing it is all available in the document how to traverse the element also we have seen it now other than this there are also some other handy methods which are available let's try to see it so for example let's say that i want to access the div element okay this div element i want to access it so directly i can access using where div element div element is equal to document dot get elements okay here we'll be using get elements by tag name of you can give directly the div here so this is one thing so tag name means nothing but this tag name so you can give this tag name directly whatever the elements available in this uh, document the div elements so those are all the elements will be printed as an array so here if you try to see console.log div element so now here you will be able to access this one so here now you will be able to access the div element see directly you will be able to access the development instead of going to this ul and next element sibling like this instead of doing that one all so we can add directly access this one using the elements by tag name not only this one so if you can also directly access the ul also so now here you will be able to access the ul also so this is get elements by tag name so if you want to target the directly with the tag name means you can use this get elements by tag name so it is a plural here why because you will get there will be multiple elements available in the document with the same tag name so that is the reason we are able to get elements by tag name as an array you will get it as an array now if i want to apply the color red or something like that means so i can use something like div element of zero so that is first element we will get it as an array right of zero dot style dot background color background color equal to so i can apply it as red or something like this okay now if i try to see the output here so now what is this entire ul is applied a uh, color so i think i took that one as U ul element i think here i can decrease this yeah yeah here i have took this ul element right so let's take it as a due so now here like this you can apply the like this you can apply the red color and otherwise if you want to change the text content means you can change the text content also is not a problem so here it is changed so like this you can also capture that with the tag name for example let's say that if you are having a class name so here you are having class is equal to link li or something like this so now using this class name also we can capture it so here i want to get li element document dot get elements by class name get elements by class name so you here you can capture with get elements by class name of link li so you need to give the link li here you should not keep dot or anything something like that why because dot especially in the css selectors we are able to write it that one in order to indicate that it is a class but here already you are saying it outside that is a class name so you can directly mention it here <coughs> and here you got li element so that is nothing but li element and you will be getting multiple li elements why because so classes also you will be having multiple classes here they will be available so that means you will be getting it as an array and if you try to run with js here what happened here okay text content i am trying to write the text content right okay so here the text has been changed so like this in the using the class name we can change it not only with the class name for example let's say that i am having an id okay, id is equal to Mm, list okay list id i am using list id so you can also capture an element using the id also so how you can capture is so where ul is equal to document dot dot get element by id so this time you will be using only the single not elements element by id of you so here you can use list id okay so list id so now if i try to use this console.log of ul then you will be able to access here console run it and here i will be able to access this ul tag name ul and text node so i am able to access directly so this time you will be getting only as a single output 
so here if you want to change the color means ul dot style dot background color so you can change it directly background color there is no need to keep the off zero or something like that you will get only single item so now if i try to check in the console so i'm not in the console in the output see here see entire ul element has been uh, has been colored with the background color of red so these are three these are these three are some handy methods which you can access it through the tag name id and class names so these are most popular which you will be using other than this you have also another option that is nothing but a query selector so query selector so instead of using this one i can use query selector okay so query selector means nothing but selectors whatever the css selectors you have learned it in the css those all selectors you can use it here in order to access the dom element for example i want to access the ul element which is having hash list id i can actually i can write it like this so this is the selector which you which i want to write it so now if i try to use this console.log of ul then i will be able to access the same thing okay so if i try to access here so i'm able to access the same ul element now if i want to apply the background color to red means ul dot <coughs> style dot background color i can apply the same options okay so i can apply the same options then you'll be able to see the red color here the same thing you will be able to see the output so using the query selector also i will be able to access this that one for example let's say that i am having link li for this one and also for another one also let's say show okay so now i want to access the li elements li element which is having a class class means dot notation so you are using query selector so you can write the css selector so link li i want to access this one so for this li i want to apply the background color of red now if i try to see the output here i am able to apply only for the first one only query selector will return only the one element only so only the first occurrence of the element only it will try to remove it will try to get it so if you want to get all the elements means then you need to use the query selector all then you need to use it here of zero and oh sorry and also you need to use of one so if you want to do it means otherwise you can loop over each one and you can do it you can write a for loop and you can do it so of one so now both the things has been selected so like this difference between query selector and query selector all is query selector will return you only the first occurrence of the element whereas the query selector all will return the all the elements that are matching the particular css selector so that is the difference between this query selector and query selector all remaining get elements by tag name get elements by class name those are all directly pretty stra pretty straightforward with the tag name with the class name with an id we are able to get the element but here this one is using the css selectors whatever the css selectors you have learned it so you can apply it here that's not a problem so this is all about the different way uh, these are all another different ways how we can access the dom elements so what we have learned now get elements by class name so we have used this one get elements by class name and another one is get elements by tag name so the last one is get element by id and another one is query selector and, uh, and another one is query selector all so this also we have learned it so these are all the different ways these are all the different ways how we can access the element so after now we have accessed the element only so we have not created or inserted or deleted the elements so after now we have accessed the elements so these are all the different ways how we can access the elements okay so these are these are all different ways so you can play around with all these things first element and these all things so you can play around with this one so these are the most pretty things important things which we will be using for traversing so you can use any of the combinations that's not a problem you can use query selector and then afterwards you can go to the first element child or otherwise like that also we can move it not not a problem for example let's say that i will try to show you so i got a query selector of link li okay so i got a first element so now if i want to go li dot so if i try to print console dot log li dot first element child means then i will get so here you are having first li element means so this one right link li i am getting first element child means this is nothing but this one only okay of children of zero also you can use it so if i try to show you the console let's see let's run it then you will be able to get an anchor element see 
or otherwise if you try to use children of zero so you can use any of the combination okay of children of zero means then also you'll be able to get it or otherwise i want to get a parent element of this one so i want to get a parent element so what i can do so what is the parent element for this one it is in ul i am able to get a ul so this one is parent is ul right so like this you can able to use the combination of all those things and you can get the desired output using these all the available features so you can get the desired output or you can go to the desired element by using all these things so this is how we will be traversing around the document